Hey Tai here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. I didn't think I was going to make this video this early, but yet it's official. Sony PlayStation just unveiled the adapter that's gonna let us use our PSVR 2 to play Steam VR games directly on our PC, launching August 7. So yeah, let's discover everything in details about this new adapter and how we're gonna use our PSVR 2 to play our PC VR games and also the bad stuff. So well, let's get into it. All right, here we are. So let's start with the good things and everything that we actually need to know to use our PSVR 2 with our PC. This adapter is gonna let you use your PSVR 2 on your PC. It's gonna be available starting August 7 for a price of $59.99, $59.99 euros and $49.99 pounds at selected retailers or to directplaystation.com. These adapters we suspected will use as connection to your PC, DisplayPort, USB, and it's gonna need a power adapter as well. Well, all to connect a single USB Type-C cable that comes out from the PSVR 2. They don't actually talk about the power adapter, I think it's gonna be included, but it's actually funny that you're gonna need a display port 1.4 cable to connect the adapter to the PC. There's something that you have to put on your own, on top of the $59.99. Cool. After that, you're gonna need a PSVR 2 PlayStation app on the PC that is gonna work like a bridge to have the headset work directly on Steam VR. So yeah, PlayStation app and Steam VR needed, of course. Because yeah, at that point, the PSVR 2 will work like a, a regular native PC VR headset with a straight wired connection to it. Uh, there's no need for the PS5 at all. That's very cool indeed, because with this kind of a connection, we're gonna be able to like push the full resolution to the displays without going through the compression or compression that usually happens with other headsets like the MetaQuest 3, the MetaQuest 2, the MetaQuest Pro. So you know about the specs needed, you're gonna need Windows 10 64 bits or Windows 11 64 bit, an Intel iCore i5 7600 or a AMD Ryzen 3 13100. You're gonna need eight gigabyte of RAM in the GPU the minimum of an NVIDIA 1650 or on the AMD side an RX 5500 XT. For better performance, the recommended RTX 3060 or an RX 6600 XT. That is a pretty similar power of what we have actually on the PS5. On the PC, you're gonna need a DisplayPort 1.4. Again, you're gonna need to provide a cable yourself. USB direct connection only, so they don't give information about the bandwidth that you're gonna have with the cable, and it's gonna be more important than later when we talk about it. And of course, Bluetooth 4.0 or later to connect the DualSense control to it. The setup is gonna be super easy, you're gonna have to connect the PSVR 2 to your PC through the adapter, then use the PlayStation app and then open Steam VR. So yeah, with all of that you're gonna be able to just use Steam um, and Steam VR to buy your games. I mean, if you have your PC, you know that the library is very, very big indeed. And every game that works on PC VR, on any PC VR headset, will work also here. So yeah, again, it's gonna be super easy and finally we're gonna be able to unlock a bit the power of the PSVR 2. Uh, but can we really? Well, actually not quite. This is pretty weird because HDR, headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers and haptic feedback other than Ramble are not gonna be available when playing on PC. That means that every single feature that makes the PSVR 2 different from the other PC VR headsets are just not gonna work altogether. I mean, what is even the point then? This is an actual question. Please let me know because I'm struggling to understand it. What's left, of course, is gonna be the two OLED displays with a resolution of 2000 by 2040 each eye with 110 degrees of field of view, the new controllers with the finger touch detection and awareness, black and white pass-through, the tracking, of course, and uh, the regular Fovea rendering. Um, like we have in any other headset without the eye tracking that is actually built in inside. And we have other headsets with eye tracking, so 
it's really not clear why they don't support that on PC VR. So yeah, I don't know, it's really a mixed bag of emotions right now. I don't really know what you think about it because I thought that the, the great potential uh, of this headset beside the OLED display that are very cool were the fact that you had eye tracking that is lacking on unfortunately too many headsets right now. You had the rumble available directly on the headset as well. And you had controllers that could really move the needle up, just creating a new standard for haptics and interaction. I mean, I was dreaming about using eye tracking, not just for social apps that would be absolutely amazing in such an affordable headset, but also to have fully added rendering working where you look at, like it works already on PS5, by the way. And it's something that is available with OpenXR, no problem. So why this is not actually here? And the weird thing, they didn't even phrase it like, uh, we're working on it for now, like this is it. It's just, no, those features are not gonna be there. In a way of, if you wanna use actually the full potential, just buy a PS5 and play your games there. That feels very classic Sony, I have to say. But overall, I was ready to recommend this headset to everyone that wanted a new PC VR headset because for the price, you get great controllers and a very good, you know, headset at the end of the day, comfortable with the pretty good screens, even if the lenses are very outdated right now, but at least you gain very big features like eye tracking in HDR. Instead, well, it seems like now we have just a basic headset with feature that we're gonna pay for because you buy the headset at that price because it has all those features, but you're not gonna be able to use them. Are modders gonna be able to add it? Uh, probably they're gonna be able to add different haptics thanks to like, you know, the Bluetooth connection. Uh, but if the USB is just a USB 2.0, maybe there's just not enough bandwidth to actually support eye tracking with this adapter and uh, you know, all the other sensors that we have over there for the regular tracking. Also the fact that you have to buy the DisplayPort 1.4 is just, freaking hilarious by the way. But anyway, I'm gonna grab it as soon as it's gonna be available. So we're gonna test it completely and uh, kind of finish this series of videos talking about the PSVR 2 coming to PC that we started a while back discovering the desktop mode for PC VR 2. And on top of that, I can't wait because we're gonna be able to actually do a proper True Lenses video comparing one to one with the applications that we have on PC that we used to test every single headset here. I don't know why I said we, uh, I'm just alone, but yeah, it's nice to say it. But anyway, guys, what do you think about it? Again, does it make any sense if like two thirds of the features are just lacking, even if they're there? Would you consider buying it just as a PC VR headset if you don't have a PS5? Let me know. Are you considering? Do you already have one? Uh, do you consider it for PC VR? Do you think that it's just, it doesn't make any sense at all if the features are not there? Uh, it just boggles my mind the fact that they had a great headset that could actually disrupt a bit the industry coming to PS VR and they decided to just do the bare minimum to actually get it there. It's just sad. Anyway guys, let me know please in the comments below and as always, if you liked the video like, if you did like the video, please like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech and I see you guys in the next videos. And soon, if you're following all this stuff, with a PSVR 2 on PC. Ciao!